1968, I put together a, a harmony group with some college pals and there was some interest from a couple of record labels, but thankfully it didn't pan out. And the group broke up and they're my charts, either my arrangements or my songs and arrangements. And, you know, Karen and I can, we can overdub the harmonies. And by then we had met uh, Joe Osborne, we met him in I think about April of 1966. And we met this fellow and, and he introduced ourselves and uh, we introduced ourselves and he drove us to, uh, the Osbournes' home, and we went around the side because, of course, it's a garage studio, and came in through like a little laundry area, and then into this studio. Taciturn. That's that's how uh, uh, one writer described Joe, the taciturn Osborne. I played, and Karen sang, and and uh, just in the room, and of course, you could tell that Karen sang even then pretty damn well. So then they hooked up a mic and sang into the, uh, well, into the booth. And see, that's the first time I'd ever heard her mic'd. So we kept some of it and redid other things at A&M. There's another one that actually is the demo that's on the first album called All I Can Do. The first album didn't do very well. The first single, on the other hand, uh, wasn't a smash, but it, it fared far better than most artists' debut singles. It was on and off uh, the charts for six months, and it, it peaked at 54. But still, you know, it's uh, better than not getting on it at all. You know, the first album, I think it was around $50,000, which was a tidy sum back then, and it, uh, it didn't do well. We go back into the studio, cut a, a couple of things. I say Ticket to Ride, the first single, that's still... Still on the charts, or off and back on. And on. I, I say, with the exception of the, the song I'm telling you about, I either wrote or found all the other pieces that, that we did. I went with what, always with what I heard and knew that any uh, musician worth his or her salt, especially a studio musician, since they're required to just show up and read something in all sorts of different uh, styles, would get what I want. And I always let I say, bass is so important anyway, it's the foundation. You know, it wasn't just the singer or the song to me, it was how the thing was put together. Little fills here and there, very important. You always want to prove that you still have it, whether you're an actor, whatever you, you are. And, and so you could have had a hundred number one records. You, you just want to show the world that you, you can do 101. But see, right around that time, I said, I'd found we've only just begun and we'd, we'd cut that. And uh, I remember Hal. Uh, saying, you know, we had close to you, we were working on and begun. He said, that's the one, we've only just begun. Well, it was, uh, it was written, custom tailored, uh, uh, by Roger Nichols and Paul Williams for, uh, uh, it was a soft sell, a good campaign for uh, the Crocker Bank. May have been Crocker citizens at the time, but it was written showing a young couple uh, getting married and driving off into the sunset and all that. And the ad, uh, well, you, you, of course, you saw the images. You heard one or two verses, depending on the length of the ad, uh, of the song. And then it, it could have been a voiceover or it could have just been the Chiron that said, we, you've only just begun, let us help you get there, the Crocker Bank. I heard that song a couple of times, just the little bit of it that was used. I'm thinking, that sounds like a hit to me with the right arrangement, you know, with the right arrangement. And uh, I knew damn well it was a Nichols Williams song because I, I knew Paul's voice. And he and Roger made the demo and Paul, Paul sang on it. I was wondering whether it was a whole song, bridge and third verse, and I saw him on the A&M lot and asked him, and yes, indeed it was. So I walked over into... Uh, into publishing and asked them for, a, and back then, you know, it was the acetate still, the demos, and got an acetate and listened to it and had the Sharon Horizons. And I thought, well, it needs a little, a little help in the transition from the verse to the bridge. And it's the first time I heard that, the together part, I think, ah, oh, the second time it's going to go together and then together. And then I, I went in and, uh, put the chart together again on the on the AM soundstage. Same same guys.